well, this is going to be my first time covering the Jack Scimitar kit here in Modern Warfare 3, and it's quite simple. I'm covering this because you guys requested I do so. At the same time, I think the FJX Horus is a better weapon without the conversion kit. This is a good option for people that aren't great with recoil control or aren't extremely aggressive players. But again, in my personal opinion, the mobility of the stock FJX Horus is what really puts it over the top. But at the same time, this thing has zero recoil whatsoever. So our first attachment here, the Jack Scimitar kit, obviously. Recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range along with fire aiming stability at the sacrifice of, well, a bunch of aggression. And like I was just saying, I think that's what really made the FJX Horus really good. But this is no joke. We got a 65% increase to damage range. That's AR like numbers at 22.6 meters, 35% to the bullet velocity and a massive 30% there to the horizontal recoil control and 15% to the vertical recoil control. So the kit's no joke. It's a very good option. I just have a preference and my preference is not to use the kit. No, nonetheless, don't get it twisted. I have a fire gameplay coming up. For my next attachment here, I am using the Jack Glassless Optic. Just not really a fan of those iron sights. I tend to lose enemies pretty quickly, but at the end of the day, it is gonna be a preference. If you guys like the iron sights, you can run that or possibly a different optic altogether. Down here to my rear grip, I have the LOL 9M grip. This is gonna give me a little bit more recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability, which is going to basically make it so you can shoot across the map and hit your shots very easily. It is going to give you a 7% increase straight across the board here to all of those recoil categories. To speed up the weapon now, we have the DR6 hand stop for aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed because of everything that got slowed down with the conversion kit, mainly the sprint to fire speed. The aim down sight speed is still very, very good at 190 milliseconds, but we do need to ramp that sprint to fire speed back up along with a little bit of that mobility. That's mainly what this attachment is targeting. And the last attachment is going to be a preference in my opinion. I'm using the ECS Requieter Suppressor for aim down sight speed, fire aiming stability, and of course the ability to stay nice and stealthy on the map with that suppressor. I just personally really like this attachment on this one. If there's a muzzle you wanna enjoy more, maybe just a different attachment altogether, this is the one you can take off, but I think you should give this a try if you guys are a little bit undecided. So here's gonna be all your attachments on the screen for the Jack Scimitar kit, FJX Horus. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. Just because it's not my personal preference doesn't mean you guys aren't going to absolutely love this thing. It is very easy to use and a very good aggressive choice on the map. And as always, here's gonna be the rest of that loadout on the screen for you guys if you wanted to copy this down as well. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. Let's jump over into this gameplay. You can see what all the hype's about. Well, basically you can see it has no recoil. Let's get into it. So this is gonna be my first time making a full length video with the FJX Horus, at least a conversion kit. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. The FJX Horus conversion kit. I just haven't really had much ambition to use it because personally, I don't think this thing's that good. Like, I just think there's better options, if that makes sense. But the, F well, example, I think the... Wow, holy crap, man. That was almost insane. But I think the normal FJX Horus is actually the better option. Yes, this is easier to use. Gives you less recoil control. But I do think from a normal perspective here, the FJX Horus by itself is going to be the better option. Only because what this does is... Kind of ruins the mo not ruins, but really slows down the mobility of the weapon. Not that that's necessarily the worst thing in the world. Just not my personal cup of tea. I'd rather sacrifice the recoil control for the mo like be for the mobility because of how aggressive this weapon is. You know, like this weapon with the fast fire rate is super duper aggressive. That was almost really bad. He had a shotgun. All right, this could be a bad idea. There's our VTOL. We should probably just hit it, right? You stupid bitch. 
Oh, somebody on my team's upset. He's swearing. It means I gotta mute the team, unfortunately. And there's our advanced UAV. Unfortunately, if they're gonna start swearing, YouTube's monetization rules are quite strict. Oh, I'm cruising. Oh, I'm cruising. These guys are putting up a good fight. Gonna give them credit, but... I'm kind of working. I love the aggression. Love the aggression out of them. All right, I've had deja vu in this moment far too many times where I'll kill them and they'll spawn on me, so I gotta pay attention to my minimap right now. Good, it looks like we're gonna hold these spawns. I shouldn't have them spawn on me at all. Gonna go all the way around. Well, maybe not go all the way around. No one's there. I do have a UAV. They may be behind us here. They are. Advanced UAV. And DNA bomb. Okay. That almost got real sketchy. Got another VTOL to go with here. I'm going to use that before I use the DNA bomb. This guy's going to try to come up. Nope, he changed his mind. Hold the phone, I'm hitting. And another advance, man. Holy crap. All right, I might have underestimated this conversion kit. I'm not going to lie to you. Definitely might have underestimated this a little bit. The suppressor does make it real nice to use because you can be so stealthy. We're just going to go DNA bomb right now. Don't want to die. Well, that's getting called in. Teammates got an overwatch helo. Oh my goodness. It's a slaughter. Oh my, it's a slaughter. What have we got working here? My teammates popping off too. Mr. Skittles, or it's Mr. Skills. I thought it was Skittles. Homies popping off on the main stage. I haven't used the Overwatch Hilo in a while, but I tell you what, I'm not mad about switching to the VTOL. The VTOL I find gets me so many more kills. It's a little harder to get, of course, but. Oh, that's where you were. I was shooting here thinking that uh, homeboy, well, was where I pre-fired. There was a guy here. That hurt. Where'd you go? Oh, you're going to throw that at me and run. Cowardly. Cowardly. Cowardly! Challenge me, brother. Copy 
I have no teammates. What happened? I just realized that. I don't know if anybody's going to spawn in either, which is concerning. It, that is kind of concerning that all of our teammates left for some reason. Is that, I mean, the streak's going to help, but. I've just two times I've died to this cluster mine, man. That's the second time in one game I've died to a cluster mine. That's insane. All right, what are we doing? Are we back here? Yeah, I think the streak is really what saved the game here, to be honest, because I really don't think anybody was planning on spawning in in this one. That's going to be it. Wrapping it up with 82 kills over on Greece. This map never, ever, ever gets old to me.